weapon that is specifically designed for babies. A gun specifically designed to be wielded by babies. Specifically, an assault rifle style semi-automatic long gun made to look kind of like the civilian version of a US military issue M4 rifle, but sized down. So like, toddlers can use them. Not toy guns, not like super soakers, squirt guns, not BB guns, not cap guns. Real guns that fire real, real bullets. You've heard of the AR-15? Well, now meet the JR-15, as in the junior AR-15. The company that makes it is just super cute about the whole thing. They call themselves We Won the Tactical. We Won, not We Won, but We Won, as in Little One. Until recently, they had logos for the little girls and little boys version of this gun for babies. The logos were this little kid's skull and crossbones with a pacifier for boys, and this little skull and bones pacifier with a crossbone, uh, with a pacifier for, 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 for girls. Because why should any kid have to wait until they're done with the teething process before they can start carrying their own assault rifle? They advertised the JR-15 as smaller, safer, lighter. They apparently recently did drop the pacifier logos and the Scooby-Doo cartoon font in some of their advertising. But it's not like they're no longer claiming this is an assault rifle for babies. I mean, they could change their marketing of it, right? They could say this is for a different purpose. They could have started to say they're making this mini-sized assault rifle for people with unusually short arms. Hey, are you built like a T-Rex? Hard time reaching the steering wheel and the pedals at the same time? Have we got the assault rifle for you? Or they could market it for people with low upper body strength. Can't handle a gun that weighs more than two pounds? Find yourself unable to lift a carton of milk anymore? Don't worry, doesn't mean you shouldn't have a semi-automatic blowback action assault rifle of your dreams. It's specifically designed for you, great-great-grandma. When they dropped the pacifier logo, explicitly targeting the gun to the teething toddler market, that might have seemed like it was you know, signaling that they were abandoning the whole idea of assault rifles for kids, but no, it turns out they just dropped the pacifier logos and the cartoon font, but they're making clear that it is not just for people with little tiny arms, or not just for people with very poor upper body strength, it's still definitely for preschool. And the reason you can tell that it's still their targeted market for this gun is because this is the image that pops up on the splash page, splash page at their website. Clear enough? Here's another view of the same target consumer. Maybe she's, what, five? I think she's five? And if America is now marketing smaller, lighter, fully functional semi-automatic assault rifles for five-year-olds, I mean, what's next? Why would we stop there? If they really want to get the full market share that might be available to them, maybe they could do an even littler one that babies could use in the crib. Maybe they could, like, fire it with their feet or something. The Junior AR-15, the JR-15 for toddlers, is a real thing. For its part, the company who makes this uh, kid gun um, says the reason it's so great for kids is not only because it only weighs two pounds and is sized for little fingers and little arms and little hands, but they're very hot to tell you that it has special safety features. The special safety feature appears mostly to be just a second deliberately awkward safety knob on the other side of the gun from the regular safety. Because surely 